is a kalpana here in this video we are going to solve an equation using solvable for p method problem solve x square p square plus x y p minus 6 y square equals to 0 solution given equation or given x square p square plus x y p minus 6 y square equals to 0 comes with as equation number 1 this is a quadratic form in P, right? A x squared plus B x plus C equals to 0. If you compare the equation with this quadratic form, we have A equals to x squared. So, this is a quadratic equation in P, right? P squared. P. Okay? A equals to x square, B equals to x, y and C equals to minus x, y square. Okay. The rules of the quadratic equation is given by x equals to minus B plus or minus square root of D square minus 4AC by 2A. Then using this formula, we will get P equals to minus of b x y plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 times a into c by 2 times a Right? Then P equals to minus XY plus or minus square root of XY whole square is X square into Y square minus into minus plus 4 6 are 24 into X square into Y square by 2X square. So this equals to minus xy plus or minus square root of take x square y square common from these two terms. So you get x square y square of 1 plus 24 by 2x square. So this equals to minus xy plus or minus square root of x square y square into 1 plus 24 is 25 by 2x square is equals to minus xy plus or minus square root of you can write this x square y square as xy whole square into 25 by 2x square this equals to minus x, y plus or minus. Now we can split this two, square root of these two as square root of x, y whole square into square root of 25 by 2x whole square. Since we know that square root of a can be written as a power 1 by 2. Then square root of a square can be written as a square simply replace a by a square then you'll get a square power 1 by 2 since a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n then you can write this as a power 2 times 1 by 2 for n equals to 2 and n equals to 1 by 2 then you get a power 2 by 2 which is equals to a right so square root of x y whole square will be x, y. This equals to minus x, y plus or minus x, y into square root of 25 is 5 by 2 x squared. So now take x, y common from these two terms x, y of minus 1 plus or minus 5 by 2 x squared. 
So now you can cancel 1x from the denominator and mx from the numerator. You'll get y times minus y plus or minus 5 by 2x. Then p equals to y times minus 1 plus 5 by 2x and y times minus 1 minus 5 by 2x. When p equals to y into minus 1 plus 5 by 2x and then p equals to y to minus 1 minus 5 by 2x. So this equals to y into minus 1 plus 5 is 4 by 2x to 1 za to 2 za is equals to 2y by x. So this becomes y into minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6 by 2x to 1 za to 3 za. So this equals to minus 3y by x. Okay. When p equals to 2y by x, put p equals to dy by dx is equals to 2y by x. Then 1 by y into dy equals to 2 into 1 by x dx. If you want to take this to, to LHS, you will get 1 by 2, right? So then, here the variables are separable. So by integrating on both sides, we will get integral 1 by y is log y equals to 2 into integral 1 by x is log x. Plus since everything is in terms of log, so we will write the constant in terms of log. Then, log y equals to log x square plus log c. Then, log y equals to, since we know that log a plus log b equals to log ab. Then you could write RHS as log x square into c. Okay, also we you know that if log a equals to log b, then a equals to b. And this becomes y equals to x square into c. Then y minus x square into c equals to 0. Okay. When p equals to minus 3y by x. When p equals to minus 3y by x. Put p equals to dy by dx equals to minus 3y by x. Then, 1 by y into dy equals to minus 3 into integral, sorry, into 1 by x into dx. So, here the variables are separable, right? Now, we can integrate on both sides. Then, integral 1 by y into dy equals to minus 3 into integral 1 by x into dx. Since integral 1 by y dy is log y equals to minus 3 into integral 1 by x is log x plus here also you are having log log right so take constant as log c then log y equals to minus log 
x cube since m log n can be written as log n power m plus log c since log a minus log b equals to log a by b then this becomes log y equals to log c by x cube since if log a equals to log b then a equals to b then this becomes y equals to c by x cube then you can take x cube to lhs we we'll get x cube y equals to c so from this we'll get x cube y minus c equals to zero okay the combined form of these two solutions will be the required solution therefore the required solution is y minus x square into c into x cube y minus c equals to z this completes the problem so this is all for now hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye